Hi, I'm Charlie Cushane. I'm doing another video this year for Truck Camper Magazine uh, uh, Camper Improvements. And you may remember me from last year. I did a video on a laser alignment system to help guide the truck and camper together when you're hooking up, which is the hardest thing to do. Um, it works great for me and for many other people, however, I did get feedback from some people that were sort of hesitant to use a laser and wanted something more mechanical. Um, in addition, they would like to see something that not only guided their camper into position, but also helped keep it in position so it couldn't shift in their truck. Uh, even though I have a rubber mat, mine stays put, but other people apparently have an issue with it moving. So this year, I'm doing another alignment video, but this time I'm going to make it mechanical and I'm going to use these three inch pivoting rollers. Um, my plan is I'm going to mount these along the rail of the truck using all this hardware and these long pieces of aluminum that I've already drilled. Um, and I'll show you the process of putting it together and then I'll show you the process of using it. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm, I'm thinking it'll work great, but we'll see together. Uh, the first thing we need to do is take this 3 inch by 3 inch piece of aluminum. It's like a 3 16th of an inch thick. This is going to go on the top rail. All right, the whole idea here is I want to add something to the truck, but I don't want to have to drill any holes, and I want it easy to put on and easy to take off so I can use my truck when I'm not using my truck camper. Um, so the first thing you need is this piece of aluminum, and I had to notch it right here to fit around. It's an eight foot long piece. Um, and then first thing I need to do is to put some of these bolts, long bolts in. So I'll do that, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, the first thing you need to do is put these big six inch long half inch bolts through these holes and what these will do is allow the whole system to be adjusted in and out to fit the spacing of your truck camper. And anybody could adjust left or right and it helps adjust for those wings that some truck campers have. So I'm just adding all these bolts right now. Now that all the um, adjusting rods are bolted on, you see I have five of them, uh, now this gets clamped to the bed rail of the truck. the same thing to the other side. Now that we have this clamped to the side rails with our adjusting bolts on, we put the adjusting plate on. This is a plate that is going to uh, have these rollers mounted to it. And this goes right on here. Same on the other side. Do you want to explain what you did, what you added to the bolts? I added nuts and lock washers for the inside. I'll need them for the outside too, and those allow for the adjustment. There we go. All right, next we want to bolt on these swivel rollers 
three inch diameter with a nice rubberish um, coating on it so it won't damage the truck camper. go. The reason these want to swivel is so when you're backing up to your truck camper they'll swivel this way and then when you lower your truck camper onto your truck they'll swivel down. If you just had a fixed wheel it would work okay going into your truck camper but when you lower it down it would scuff and so this allows it to rotate down and when you of course when you lift your truck camper up it can rotate as well. Well that's one on I have 11 more to go. As you can see, these tracks are loose. I bolted on all the wheels, but these adjustments in and out haven't been set yet. This one's loose, and this one's loose. As you can see, measuring from wheel to wheel, Right now, this is at 47 inches. Now, I know my trailer is 48 and a quarter. So I have to set this at 48 and let's say a half. Because the goal of this isn't to um, bring it in from two inches away. It's to do the last half inch to an inch. You don't want to be pushing the trailer left or right on the jacks too much. You just This is for the last half inch to an inch of centering. You're pretty close, you're just going to drive back and it's going to center it perfect. So I now have to center this so that it's set with my camper. Alright, the next critical thing is to adjust these rails in and out with these adjusters. Um, the way I've chosen to do it is I cut a board. Uh, a quarter of an inch more than the width of my camper. My camper is 48 and a quarter. This is 48 and a half. Um, so what I've done is I've adjusted these two adjusters so they just touch. So they just touch it. Both. And at the same time I measured this gap and this gap so I know the whole thing is centered left to right on the bed. So now that's all set. I'm going to keep all the middle ones loose and do the end ones and get those straight. And then I'll work my way in the middle and get them all adjusted just right with the piece of wood. Perfect. Right now I have it set at 48 and a half all the way across, all the way down. And surprisingly my bed goes out a little bit in front. So this gap had to be a slightly bigger, almost a quarter of an inch bigger than here. So this was smaller and this got bigger. But the spacing stayed the same. So when the truck camper comes in it will go right in the middle. The other side's hitting. 
Go to the other side. As you can see here, I have about two inches of clearance. So I chose these three inch C-clamps um, because they only had about a three quarters of an inch raise. So you don't want to get a clamp that hold this down that's too tall that you'll hit. So I, these work just absolutely perfect. As you can see, I have plenty of clearance to the underside of my camera. All in all, that was a flawless test. I'm really pleased. See ya.